Confront your fears. This still doesn't mean that you should do something that is dangerous or that could potentially harm you one way or the other. Some of your fears are things that you can easily handle and you significantly lower your perpetually high stress levels by eliminating candidates or suspects that might be contributing to a certain extent to how much you are currently stressed. If there are certain things in your life that are causing you to be that much stressed about uh, everything, you need to address these things head on and face them. This would reduce your stress levels. The problem is that you think you need to adapt to every stressful thing that gets thrown in your way. And you think that this is a good thing, like your strength is in your adaptability. And this is how you evolved and you need to face everything and adapt to it and, uh, you know, modify your behavior and your thoughts and your beliefs to match that level of stress so that you can survive despite the presence of that stressful thing or situation. This is all wrong. Being under stress is a bad thing. We survived the stress of the past. It does not necessarily mean that it's a good thing. No one becomes better because they got exposed to a huge amount of stress compared to other people. You become better by improving yourself directly through training that you can handle, not through being stressed all the time. Stress shuts down your higher centers and makes you do illogical things that are not necessarily for your own good. Don't think that too much stress will always work in your favor. You need to be able to not break down every time some stress gets thrown in your way. You need to be strong. I understand this. But that strength is not the goal. Like Being able to survive despite any amount of stress isn't the goal. You understand? So uh, the thing here is that do not think that you keep accumulating stress on top of uh, each other and you keep just facing huge amounts and increasing amounts of stress all the time and wonder why you're still not happy in your life or you are nothing that you do ever fulfills you. It's because you feel like the only thing that you can actually do is just survive. It's because the huge amount of stress that you're facing on a daily basis, if you were able to just survive despite that, you'd be like a hero. You cannot aspire to do anything above that as long as this is your situation. Like, you need to go to the gym. You don't need to be uh, constantly stressed all the time and worrying about, you know, financial problems, for example. That, that does not make you better. Being stressed due to a shortage of money all the time is not something that is good for you. But lifting weights, for example, pushing yourself in the gym, that might be actually a good thing for you. Everybody tells you to exercise for 30 minutes only, because if you exercise for more than an hour, chances are you are going to hit a stress mode, and now your cortisol levels are going to increase. And that makes uh, the, the, the exercise that you did backfires and work against you, like drains your body and exhausts your body, and you, you will stop getting the benefit of the exercise. So you need to hit the sweet spot of like 30 minutes to 45 minutes in order to not uh, trigger the uh, cortisol release, in order to not get into stress mode. You need to make the exercise only something that is exciting, not stressful. That's why they keep emphasizing on 30 minutes. They don't want you to exceed that for a reason. Stress is never good for your body. It's good in the short term. In, uh, when it's only acute. It's not good if it's prolonged or chronic or running all the time. It will deplete you and make you unable to face the uh, moderately stressful uh, events that uh, you uh, will inevitably come across in your day-to-day uh, -day life. You want to be able to face those things without uh, being overwhelmed. And you, uh, that's why you need to not be constantly or always depleted in the face of that by being stressed all the time no matter what. If you're depleted all the time, you will not be able to handle the minor things that come through your way that are mildly stressful every now and then. 
And that depletion could happen because you are under chronic stress. So stress is not always a good thing. You need challenge in your life. You don't need overwhelm. You don't need suffering. You don't need to be stressed too much. Which brings us to the point of this uh, video. You need to eliminate as much as possible stressful causes or uh, things that are causing you stress in your life in order for you to decrease the overall amount of stress that you're facing on a daily basis. Just reduce your stress levels, not by being cool, but by reducing the amount of things that are causing you stress in your life on a day-to-day -day basis. So that at the end of the day, you will have a smaller amount of things that are stressing you out. The goal is not to hit zero stress levels, but the goal is to reduce your stress levels from 100% to anything lower than that. Get it? If you can reduce the causes of stress in your life to a minimum, that could be very helpful, more than you think. Even if you think that adapting to such kind of stress could make you stronger over time. Even if handling those causes of stress is not that much of a challenge for you. Being stressed all the time is never a good thing. No amount of adaptability or flexibility or, or coping mechanisms can change that. Try to keep your stress levels to a minimum as much as possible. Not by overlooking or ignoring the causes of stress, but by eliminating them altogether.